I'm not going to start until you take it off. That's not safe. Steven, we live together. CDC says take six it. feet or max. Take it off. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jamie V. Thanks for stopping by. So in today's video, my husband, Steven, here, well, I don't know why he has the mask on. It's because I'm, I'm not feeling well, so he's he's being a jerk. But today on Recreation Monday, so if you're new to my channel, basically what I do is I recreate different artists or makeup looks that I find on the internet. And then I show you guys step by step basically what I do to recreate them. So this Monday I decided to mix it up and have Steven try to recreate a look. He has done this before. I will ping that video right up here for you guys to check out. So he is going to recreate this makeup look that Madison actually picked on Instagram. I don't know if you can see, but there's some yellows on the inner corner of her eyes. So he is going to recreate that look for me and I will also pop it here for a better look. So if you're excited to see how this look turns out and how Steven does with my makeup and recreating this look for Monday, then go ahead and keep watching. Okay, all right guys, so I just wanna show you again the look that we are recreating. I'm probably gonna wanna popping it on the screen because for some reason you can't really see like the detail and the yellow in her eyes. So I'm gonna pop it up here again for you to see. So basically- She's gonna cover my face with it? Yeah. Wow. So basically <laughs> Steven is gonna be recreating this whole look on me. Okay, we're gonna go with brows first. I do super brows like that, but I figured it would be easier for you to do like a feathered brow instead. So basically- a what? Feathered brow. Like just a stroked brow. So I can't do brows, so you're going to throw a whole new set of brow technique at me? Yeah, but it's like easier. <laughs> Is so it? you use that, the brow freeze, and you flick up my brows, okay? Mm -hmm. Then you press them flat, and then you just take this brow pen and just put little fake la like hairs, basically. Oh my god, that's too much! <laughs> you just roll it in here! I did! Oh my god! All right. I feel like that's the journey that we're supposed to be on. No, like, I that's don't just think the way so. it happens. That's not my journey. Okay, so we're using the ABH brow freeze first. You stroke it through the hairs, like brush it. Yeah. I mean, towards like the natural way they grow. All right, well, you have to, okay, first you have to like press it so they're flat. The new, this is like the new trending brows. I hate them, but they're easier. So why are we doing them? Because they're easier for you to do, because you can't do the other brows. Mm -hmm. We've tried many times. And they've always turned out really ugly. And I'm sorry if you guys hear like a lot of laughing and kids, um, the kids outside. It's finally beautiful here. So the neighborhood kids are outside playing. And now you just fill in where it's sparse. In my last video, you could hear them singing the chicken wing song. Chicken wing, chicken wing, I'm going in my Okay, not terrible. It's a little thick, but see where it's still sparse? And now that you've made this dark, this looks like bald. You want to fill in the sparse. Oh God. <laughs> Yeah, now you know, see? Now you know what it's like. Okay, so oh, we have our brows. So today we're gonna use the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette because it has all of those pretty reds and oranges and yellows and we'll have Steven Vanna White this palette. So you can definitely tell that this photo was extremely edited, so it's not going to be as vibrant as it, and as bright, but this is the eye look. All right, you gotta get my, my brushes. Oh, okay. So what color are you going into first? I need to know your pattern. Looks like I'm gonna do a dark red. Okay, so you're gonna go in with that deeper color first. Cool, cool. Living my best. Okay. Mm, I would place it with this thick pencil brush and then blend it with this other with this other brush. Are you gonna put any eye primer on? Well, yeah, I mean, I'm just getting everything set up over here first. Is this what that what this is? Mm -hmm. It is my favorite eye primer. Which one do I do? Which one do you think I use the most? Looks like that one. <laughs> yes. Looks like a moon crater. <laughs> I know, it's my favorite. And he doesn't do singles, so if I need to buy another one, like I have to buy the whole set. So he's just applying my eyeshadow primer so all the colors look so good. All right, so he's going in with, I can hold it if you want. Live in my best life, which is the red, like dark true red in the palette. <laughs> What's happening? I'm just trying to get this right. I've botched every single makeup look that I've ever done on you. <laughs> I think that the effort is what matters. And also you've come a long way though. 
Like if we look back at your original ever makeup look on me. Look at yourself right now. Have we come a long way? Yeah, we're not there yet. You're placed in color. You haven't even blended. You don't even know. That's not bad. That's not bad. Now you're gonna, I would blend it. I would, so it's like kind of diffused. It's not as like jagged. Mm. I, would, I would blend it. <laughs> if I could recommend one thing. Oh God. You and that noise. <laughs> Does your body just do it? Yes, every now and again. Is it indigestion? Yes. Are you nervous? Am I nervous? And because I'm being on camera and about to be viewed by hundreds of millions of people? I get a solid 40 views a video, it's okay. But not on this one. Oh, facts. We're about to go vi more viral than COVID. My gosh, that's like, this one actually does not look half bad at all. Yeah. You're I welcome. I don't know what happened here. Like It's like you missed a whole portion of shadow, but this one does not look so bad. All right, so now what are you going to go into? A white. Okay. Oh, you went in with shiny white. Oh my god, on oh my clothes. It's not even white. What is that? That's like purple. It's iridescent. I, I told you. Well, I need it to iridont. <laughs> this one is white. I feel like you've already. Oh, you're just gonna go right on over it, huh? Look at you. Picking the right colors and. <laughs> you keep moving. That's not even on me. That's not even on me. You keep moving. So, okay, I'm not understanding your technique. Because it's like this eye is getting all kinds of like jack. And this is getting like perfect smooths. Like you didn't even go crazy with that. Is it like a learning process? We'll go with that. A learning curve. <laughs> okay. She has some dark red on there, probably like this color. She's got orange on the lid and then she's got yellow on the inner corner. Oh, I'm ready for that yellow. Oh yeah? Okay, mm -hmm. but let's not do the yellow yet. Cause that seems like a last step in the process. Are you sure? Yes. You're going in with crazy, which is this deep maroonish. And he's going to put that on the outer corners. How's it looking? Crazy. <laughs> I really want to recreate this look now. Like, this is really pretty. We're recreating it right now. I know, but like, like for real, man. But this is for real. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like the color story. What is the color story? The story of colors. Like the color she used. A color okay, what's, story? Okay, so tell me, what story is she telling right now? Because to me it looks like... Like a sunset -y orange vibe. And it's probably like a summer look. Color story. It's like the color story of this palette is warm tones. You've never heard of that? No. Oh. Sorry you're uneducated. How does that make me uneducated? Because <laughs> I don't know the color story of makeup. It's not just makeup. Color story is for paint for anything. Is it? Yes. Alright, so what's the story of how to catch a catfish? I don't think that that's... Or how to change out electrical wires. I don't think that's the same. They're not it's, colors. But it tells a story. Oh my god, please. I need to get that. I can't. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, what happened? Stained. It's red. It's a red shadow. Oh boy. Okay. Well, foundation will cover it. That's why we do the eyes first. Okay. What are you thinking? Oh, why did this one come back over so far? Like this one is like so in its place and this one. Why are you putting more of that over here? Because <laughs> I'm just looking. So you didn't even give me a chance to finish. I'm going to use my finger uh, to match where it is over here. And I need uh, to add some more. I feel like this eye was fine though. <laughs> it is now. Good. What are we going on to next? Orange. Okay. Are you going to put some primer down or are you just going to put it over top of it? Am I supposed to put primer down? I feel like I already did that. So why am I doing it again? I usually put it over it to cut the crease to make the orange stick out. We're not doing that today. Okay. So use, use my Mac brush. Is it showing up orange? Ish. Yeah. Oh, we're losing it. That's why I usually, what's it called? Put primer on. Because it makes it stand out better. You can see the orange though. You can see it's orange. I should do another one. What was the one where like I just kept my eyes closed? No, you were blindfolded, right? Or was I blindfolded? You were blindfolded. Oh my gosh, I remember that. The no hands challenge or the bird box. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you just, you're up here talking about COVID and me being sick and you just blew your bacteria in my eye? <laughs> Hey, this is actually starting to turn out. It's not terrible. You're welcome. It is not ter- it's not the worst. It's like Cheetos. <laughs> the color is so pretty. Like the colors together, even like this. Like I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I might have to actually recreate this look on my own. It's you very, won't have to. It's very pretty. Because this is going to be fly. Mm, is it? 
flyer than a G6. All right, well, what's next? What's yellow. Hmm, yellow. So we're gonna go into No Joke, which is that bright yellow color she has in this palette. Ooh. Mm-hmm. It's starting to come together. See you out of this eye, right? <laughs> I didn't know you could see me. I'm not blind. Uh, oh god. How's it look? Ten. Out of a hundred. <laughs> Alright, so the next thing is it looks like she has a winged liner. Oh, let's do it. Alright. Wing it up. But what about the rest of it? The liner goes from the wing all the way down. Oh. Mm. Come on, we got another eye. We should love the wing liner out of this. Mint. Okay, so we're gonna move on to the face then, or do you wanna do the lashes before we put the face on? Well, let's do the face. Okay, some primer in your hand, and then put it on my face. We are using the Huda Beauty water. That actually felt really nice. Huda Beauty Water Jelly Primer. I'm going in with the Hourglass Vanish Foundation, the liquid, and I'm gonna put it on here because you're not going to overuse this foundation. Is no, you're gonna put it on my face. Expensive? Yeah, this is the one that you got me in that haul. And he's using the new Morphe sponge that I was telling you guys about. It's so soft. I mean, when I'm not being pounced in the face with it. Compared to the other one, I hate their original sponge. So this one is like excitingly soft. I was like three pumps of foundation and I feel like you haven't even covered the surface. <laughs> it tickles. <laughs> All right, so now you're gonna go in with concealer. That's enough, that's enough, calm down. You'd be surprised how much is That, so I usually go under my eye first and then use the excess on my nose because I don't need that much on my nose. You, you're getting it. Oh boy. it's a lot of concealer on my nose. No. I don't. It's my look. Mm, it is your look. Indeed. So now I, for my concealer, I use, usually use a brush now. I just blend it out. Would you like to use a sponge instead? Mm -mm. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Okay. Girl, look at that chin. <laughs> that chin doesn't look bad. Either. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> but like, I'm still looking at the difference in my neckline and my face. Don't be too rough on my under eye. Under eye syndrome. And, no wrinkles and oh. bag. <laughs> it doesn't look bad. I just my nose, like the center of my face, looks very highlighted. So I just don't know why you did that with my nose. But okay. What are we doing now? We got blush. Okay, well, we have bronzer, blush, and highlighter all in one. I made it easy on you. I just used this one the other day. This is actually very, like, my go-to palette because it has everything possible in this palette. And it is, it's not bad. I don't think they sell it anymore. It's by Kylie Cosmetics. It's the Coco Collection. But if they do, I would get this. I love it. I take it with me to work and everything when I was going to work. It has everything in it. Like, look at this. A blush, a beautiful blush, a beautiful bronzer, and two highlighters. Two different ones, so... I really do like it. It's probably my most used makeup item. Where you got? Around your hairline. Oh, yeah. okay. and what, are you what am I doing wrong? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> 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 I know. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> it's so bad. All right. Blush. Mm -hmm. Like a nice little swirl is fine. There you go. No one to stop. Is it so beautiful? Ooh. Here, let me get in the light. Because you only highlighted like all here, I look like I have a mustache. <laughs> so that's nice. The mustache foundation is not all the way down my neck, just so we're clear. If anyone's missing that. <laughs> it's not rosy enough. Okay. I do love blush. I put a lot on too. Oh. No, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> no, no. Like, a lot in the right way. You know what I mean? Highlighter time. 
Ugh. No, you know I don't like when it is tickled. Oh. All right, so now we're gonna go into lips. Lips, lips. So she definitely has like a pinky color lipstick. So we're gonna go in with One Wish by Kylie and then we're gonna let it dry for a second and go in with some gloss, cause she glossed it. I can even feel it on my lips. Do the bite thing. All right, babe. Feel like I'm missing a whole, a whole area over there. There you go. That actually, you did really good. It took you quite a bit, but you did really good. I've been practicing on myself when you're <laughs> not you? looking. Are those full lips lucky? Mm -hmm. I need a new one of those. I messed it up. I put it on top of a red lip glow, a red lipstick. What? You just, you just have to do like one swipe and I can kind of like... <laughs> There's so much over here. I put some over here. <laughs> so much gloss here all right so we're gonna do the under eye like the lower lid and then we're gonna do the mascara I'm gonna pick a color okay how about her I'm not gonna open until you're done okay oh god <laughs> what you put there there's nothing there yeah, there is I'm looking right at it what is it gold like flakies Oh, Beeb. So he picked this gold, but so you don't put, you usually don't put shimmer under there, and this is like more of a topper. But that's fine. I mean, you can barely see it. It's fine. So I need to go in with a different No, one. no, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. And last but not least, he's, you're doing good. Last but not least, mascara. Wet that into the tube. This is the scariest part when anyone does my makeup. Not terrible. Maybe do the bottom too. Yeah, but I would now that you freshly dipped that. Do this top one. It seems like a lot. <laughs> I'd move on. Last setting spray. Oh girl, you ready for this? Yes, lock her in. Oh my god. Okay. Hmm. It's not locked. That's locked. Ah! <laughs> okay. <laughs> At least now your teeth are locked in. God, you made it. You put too much and you made it run. No, that was there. This? Yeah, that's that's how that, that journey ended that way. All right, guys. So this is the final look. Um, let's pop the picture up right here one more time next to me so you guys can see it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's me mm -hmm. back in front of it. <laughs> so I think that um, there were some things that I would differently. I think I actually might recreate this look again because I really did like like the whole color story of it. I love the oranges and the reds together. All right guys so that is it for today's video for Recreation Monday. I hope you enjoyed it. Stephen, <laughs> if you liked it make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you comment below and tell Stephen what an amazing job he did. Comment and give him lots and lots of love and support. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel. I upload six videos every single week and you do not want to miss out on those and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye!